Hello guys, let's talk about some of the statistical functions like COUNTIF and newer version of that that is COUNTIFs or you can say as well COUNTIF S in plural. Let's start with the COUNTIF. The COUNTIF function counts the cells that satisfy a single condition that you supply and COUNTIF function uh, can work with uh, both text and numbers. Let's take a look at the example. In this cell, I will enter the function count if, count if, and from the syntax, uh, you can see that it needs two arguments. That is the range and criteria. The range I will take from the table that I have here, this one, and my criteria can be a name of uh, the product and I can take the cell there directly and I see that this name in this table it, it is only twice. I could enter the text as well instead of uh, linking it to the cell and when you want to enter the text use the text as the criteria always enter it in the quotation marks the text in the um, double quotes enter and we have the result the count result now let's check it how it works with numbers okay. count if the uh, range I will choose this um, prices range I'm working with table so it is much easier to um, choose the ranges and the second argument, let's say, uh, count the products those price are 32. So I will just enter the number without the double quotes. So for the text, you need the double quotes like I use it here. And for the numbers, you don't need it. Let's move to the next example. Let's use uh, the numbers in combination with logical operators. The count if you can use with the logical operators. So it, it's a big advantage of this function. And let's look at the example count if. Let's choose uh, the range. Let's choose the prices range again. And let's say count the uh, how many products have the price below 32. Let's prepare the quotation marks here. And it's important to mention that for the numbers, we don't have to include the criteria in the quotation marks. But if you use it with the logical operator, then you must enclose them, both of them, in the uh, double quotes. So. So 30, uh, less than 32, count the products like that. And I have enclosed the operator and the number, both of them, in the double quotes. Okay. So in this list, we have it uh, 12 times. You can count uh, the blank cells as well, or non not blank cells. Let's count the blank cells equals enter the count if count if and let's choose this range and if you want to count the blank cells you can only enter the uh, quotation marks um, with the empty string like this and we have one blank row here one of the advantages of the count if is that you can um, use the wildcards there. So this is a very big advantage of this function. Let's use some of the wildcards. Count if let's take this range, this, and let's count if the products where we have the word um, white. So this uh, word can be a 
the included somewhere in between the sentence. So what I will do, like we, we use for the wild cards, and the wild cards should be enclosed in double quotation marks as well. Once I want to find a word that can be inside the assortment name, I will use the wild cards around it and I will um, enter the word inside that. So, white. And I have used asterisk uh, wild cards in this situation. Hit enter. And I see that um, in this assortment, I have the products uh, who include contain uh, the, uh, the word white twice. Let's uh, make another example with the wild cards. Count if, let's choose the range. And let's use the same wild card asterisk, but um, Let's say that let's count the uh, assortment names where the name starts with the word bar. We will include it in the quotation in the double quotes as well. And once we want to start with the bar, I will enter the word and then asterisk. Then it starts with this word and then it, it can be some another text. Hit enter and I see that the product assortment names are starting with the word bar nine times in this list. You can use other wildcards there as well like tilde and uh, all the options. All the wildcard options can work with the uh, function countif. And it's um, useful to note that countif is not case sensitive. So when you are working with the text, it does not matter if you enter it with the cap letters or not. It's not case sensitive. And the second function I want to discuss is the newer version of the count if, that is count ifs or count if s. And that is available from the Excel 2007. The count ifs function returns the count of cells that meet one or more criteria. Like in count if, we saw that we could supply only one criteria and here we can supply more um, two or more criteria. So it gives much uh, more uh, options. And it can work with the text and numbers and the wildcards as well. Let's have a look at the examples. Let's uh, enter the formula with the count if and work with the text. Enter the function. ifs it's here and in the syn syntax you can see that uh, if count if uh, had only two mandatory arguments range and uh, criteria here we have the three dots so it's not limited you can enter as many criteria as you want uh, of course not thousands it will be approximately 126 i guess well, let's enter the first criteria. I will choose this column and criteria range. And then the criteria for that is, let's uh, link it to the cell. This one, the name of this product. Let's continue it. The second range, I will enter this range and enter the criteria for this. I will enter the text, so I will enclose it in the double quotes. Let's enter milk. So we are counting uh, the products that have this, same, this name and in the type, they are the milk type. Hit enter. So we have only one product like that. Now let's um, see how it looks, uh, how it works with the numbers. Equal count ifs. Let's uh, supply the criteria. I will choose the prices. And uh, let's do mm, sort of the same that we did for the count if. 
if the price is 32 and let's enter the second criteria as well let's enter criteria range the cost and the cost criteria enter 14 let's see if we have any products like that we don't have any products with the price per kilo 32 and the cost 14. let's move to the next example let's use the logical operators in the function like uh, count if you can use all the logical operators there let's enter the function count ifs count if uh, let's choose the range this one and when we, uh, once we are using the logical um, operators we must enclose them in double quotes let's say this is lesser than 32 and let's enter the second criteria range first cost and the criteria should be higher than um, 13 let's see how many products so we have uh, seven products in this list with and we uh, supplied two criteria with the price less than 32 and the, with the cost higher than 13 and we have enclosed this criteria including the logical operator in double quotes when you want to uh, use a value from another cell in combination with the logical operator you should concatenate this cell with the operator i will show you how to do that let's enter the function count ifs and first choose the first criteria range let's say this one and then enter the milk here milk count ifs uh, like uh, count if is not case sensitive and let's enter the second criteria range this one and let's say that we want the price that is below 30 so the operator i will enclose in the quotation marks and then for the 30 i will use the cell i will link it to the cell and for that i will concatenate it i will use the ampersand and then click on the cell and it will work properly it counted that three prod milk products here have the price below 30. if you want uh, to count uh, the cells that they don't equal to some criteria that we supply we can enter let's use this one copy paste this one this one and if you don't uh, want this to equal to 30 then you will enter the logical operators like this so does not equal to 30. now let's count the cells those are blank or not blank with the count ifs function and the count uh, if uh, it's working in the same way in the situations like this count ifs let's choose this criteria and let's count first the blank cells so we will only enter the double quotes with the uh, empty string so we have one blank there and let's use this expression for the second one to count not blanks enter and instead of the empty string here i will enter the operators like this and then it will count not blank cells so one blank cell we have and we have 25 not blank cells count if s function can work with the date type as well let's see how it will work on the example enter count if s and i have the criteria date range on another sheet so let's go here 
select the criteria range and then select the criteria and I will use the mathematical operator together with that so I will enclose it in the double quotes let's say when this is below of this date and I will link it to the cell so for that the rule is we must concatenate it together with the operator and I will use this ampersand and then this click on the cell choose it and then enter so it counts the rows where the dates are below the selected cell or you can hard core the date as well we will uh, keep the operator here in the single quotes I will keep the ampersand and instead of the cell reference I will enter the date function and hard core the year like 20 2019, 12, and 15, and the second parenthesis. So it counted the rows, those are below the state. And county face supports wildcards as well. Let's have a look at the example. Let's enter the function count ifs. Let's choose the first criteria range. Let's choose this one and the criteria in the double quotes. Enter milk. And the second uh, criteria range. Let's choose this one. And let's say all the products, those names are starting with the bar. And in count if we saw how to do that in the quotation marks I will start with the bar and then the asterisk and we have five products those um, first criteria is milk and the second criteria that starts with the bar you can use uh, all types of wildcards in the count if s as well so that was about the these two statistical functions and I hope uh, you got uh, new information. Thanks for watching.